Picked up some paint today. A can of that. A can of this and some Loctite. Take a guess how much. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilson's YouTube channel. For two cans of paint and Loctite, it cost me $70 with tax. What's really going on? What's this world coming to? Do we know who won the presidency yet? Probably not. Why would we? I haven't looked at her today and I'm not really worried about her right now because I can't afford nothing anyway. But I did paint a little something something here I did. So I painted the valve covers and the timing cover. And check that out. Look at it. Oh, decent. Hey, let me give you a, a close up and then I'll scroll. Look at that, boys. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button if you like spray paint with dirty old Belsif. Oh, little, it's a little rough right there, but that's from the sand blasting. But you'll never see it in the van. Frequently you won't see it in that thing. It'll be way under there. I don't know why I'm doing it. I think I'm doing it more for when it's done on the engine stand. Take a look at this, eh? Why wouldn't you? Did you just look at it? But, big shout out to, what's his face there? Corey, hold on Corey. Corey gave me some intake gaskets right there. And, like some of you commented down below, valve seals. So we'll be putting valve seals in here once we get her uh, cleaned out because there's still metal shavings in here for me. But these things come off pretty easy, they do. See, they just lift off and then we just slide on the new ones. And Bob's your uncle. But we'll finish doing that first. Right, well. What else was I gonna tell you? Oh, I gotta take these off, the coil packs off, and get this sand blasted. And we'll paint that a different color. I'd like to get new ones that look real nice, but I haven't got any. Oh, check out that. Hey, TJ's here. Look at that rig. Oh, hey. She looks sick. I don't think I've ever seen this truck yet. You put the windshield in it, but it wasn't done. It wasn't done, I know. <clears throat> Who did the windshield? That is a nice job, eh? It's still in there, didn't Frank. Fall in. <laughs> she turned out good. Yes. All right, well, I'm going to have a coffee, sit back, and shoot the shit, so I'll be back. Thanks for stopping by, TJ. That was a great little visit. Two and a half hours later. Hey, why wouldn't we, right, bud? Tomorrow, not tonight because it's late now because I was shooting the shit and having a good time and it gave me a little break from everything. But what I gotta do tomorrow night is I gotta strip off these coil packs and I wanna get these brackets cleaned up or sandblasted and get them painted too. Because we can't put this thing together looking dirty or dicks. And then we gotta do the training shift kit and the tranny and we gotta, we gotta do this and that and the other freaking thing and maybe take one eye for a rip. This is just a short little update video. I'm talking super short. I think I've only been on here for 10 minutes or so, but hopefully everybody's having a good night like I am. Enjoying yourselves. We got the stuff. We're slowly getting progress here, Jim. Oh, I did thank Corey, figure right I did. Thanks Corey for the gaskets and the uh, valve seals. And I also painted my exhaust manifolds, which I forgot to show you. Look at them breaking things. Oh yeah. Friggin' right we did. Flew the 80 millimeter turbo. We just gotta figure out where to put it. Oh brother. That'll be a whole nother friggin' game, that one. But anyways, hopefully everyone's having a good night. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification button. And don't forget to check out the merch. And don't forget to friggin' right. Love y'all until next time. You know what to do for now. <laughs>